All right, hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, check it out. I am going to do a rundown of all my favorite jeans today. There are seven pairs, so let's get going. So if you're new to the channel, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, something that you should know about me is that I am denim obsessed. Uh, the, most of my money from my closet goes to denim. I do like a good deal, but I do also love investing in denim. The reason being, if you invest in denim, they should last you years and years. Some of these jeans I've had for almost a decade, and they still fit like just like the day I bought them, or even better, because they mold to the shape of your body. Lately, I've been loving 100% cotton denim and the two best brands that I found that have that are Levi's and Citizens of Humanity. So I decided to do a whole video on just denim because I always get such awesome questions from you and I feel like I can never answer your questions in a good enough way so I thought that the video would be the best way possible and let's get started see which jeans I chose first okay so we're gonna start off with my newest pair they are from Levi's they are a hundred percent cotton and they are the 501 tapered they're not the skinnies these those will be coming soon but these are the 501 tapered I got them in a very light wash because summer and spring hopefully are coming soon and I love my light denim for that season as you can see it is the fly five button fly i believe that's what it's called i do prefer them because sometimes i find the zippers they start to like bend weird and it kind of looks weird in the crotch area but the buttons always mold to the shape of your body so you can see here it has the classic levi's leather patch classic levi's pockets and i am going to put them on for you so you can see what they look like on Okay, so you can see that these ones are kind of mid, mid waist, not quite low because I can't wear low rise jeans. They are very tapered but not skinny and I like how they have a little bit of distressing here. And yeah, these, this is the newest addition to my denim collection and I am pretty happy with them. Almost didn't get them, but I'm very glad that I did. I forgot to mention this brand earlier when I was talking about 100% cotton denim. Acne Studios is definitely another brand to keep in mind when you're looking to invest in denim. They have one of the best quality denims out there, even though they're not specifically a denim brand. So Acne Studios we got here. These are their boyfriend jeans. I picked them up on sale at Nordstrom, I think a year ago. And they were like, I think they were like 80 bucks or something. And they usually retail for like $300, $400. So it was a steal in my books. Um, so you can see it's a little bit of a, I guess like a greener light denim, which I also love. It's not as perfectly blue as the other pair. I love how Acne Studios has no branding. So you can be wearing these and you wouldn't know like where they're from, someone has to come up to you to ask you. Um, so you can see here, I roll them normally. I went through a phase of rolling up denim. I might cut these for the summer. Haven't really decided yet, but I will let you know. <laughs> these are the last pair of the light denim I will show you today. This one gets a lot of questions on Instagram. These are my Citizens of Humanity by Wilfred, so Wilfred from Aritzia's collaboration. These ones are the ones from their last summer collection. They had a darker pair in the winter. These ones are their cropped, like almost like bootleg crop, not quite flare. And they hit right above my ankles, which is perfect. I needed, didn't need to hem them, didn't need to cut them. So these are absolutely one of my favorite. See here, these ones are also a zipper fly. These ones are kind of in the middle of the Levi's and Acne coloring. They sit higher than the Acne's and the Levi's, so these are the highest light wash jeans I have. I really like how these ones make my butt look. 
like the more I wash it, the more it ages nicely. You can see how they're cropped, like how I was telling you before, they're cropped perfectly for me. So when I wear sneakers or loafers, even they fit perfectly with high tops. So a lot of the times I wore them with my high top common projects, which I found hard to wear with other shoes because they don't fit properly. Here come the darker jeans. These are my J brands. One of my few J brands. Um, when I was very young, my first pair of expensive jeans were J brands and they fit me like a glove. Then I stopped buying expensive jeans for a while because I was a student. And then I tried them on again and J brands like did not fit me. Like they, my butt like didn't even fit in them. Like I don't have big butt, a big butt, but for some reason I couldn't find J brand jeans that fit me until one, like I think this, these pairs, this pair must be like over five years old. I ordered them on Shop Bob because they were like super on sale. Again, Bargain Hunter over here. These are the Carolina high waisted jeans. Every time I wear them, someone always asks me if they are um, like, I think it's called the Alexa, or it, there's like another high waist one that like every store carries, but no one like carries these Carolinas. And they are so, so high waisted, you can even tell you can even tell by me holding these up that like the crotch area doesn't even fit in the screen. That's how high waisted they are. We will see how they look on. Very skinny leg throughout. I might end up hemming them. It's been five years, but I just roll them normally. You can take a look at the butt. Still no branding, no embroidery. You can't tell who makes them other than like the very subtle thing that they have there and you really can only tell if you're jean obsessed like me. So let's put these on. You can see when I put them on how high rise they really were. The, this is sitting above my belly button. I believe these are like an 11 inch high rise. They do have pockets which I love because sometimes what happens with high rise jeans is that they take off the front pockets and just make it into a fake one. I hate that. These ones have back pockets as well. Perfectly because it does have some spandex in it, but I don't mind it in these ones because you need spandex in really skinny jeans. So right now I've unrolled them. I usually wear them rolled. You can see like if they're not rolled, it kind of looks silly um, on me at least. So let's roll them up and see what it looks like. Can you see it kind of made a pretty big difference. Um, I, for some reason, the way that my legs are shaped, I just feel like they look better when the pants hit above the ankle because I don't have a really well-defined ankle. And so if I cover my ankles and it just looks like I have cankles, I think, that's my, <laughs> my reasoning. You saw these in one of my hauls, my first shopping haul, I believe. So these are, were not, are not as old as some of the other ones. These are my citizens, citizens of humanity, Gia Rollins. These are again, 100% cotton. And I really like how there is, this is like a darker green denim. As you can see, like in the dye, it is pretty green compared to like other blue jeans. I really like these because it gives it like a really nice vintage rough look to them and it distresses really nicely as you can see. These again are cropped and you'll see them when I put them on. So I wanna show you something back here. These are the premium vintage line that Citizens has. It is on the pricier side, which is again why I waited for these to go on sale. I had bought them full price because I really wanted them and then I went and returned them like two days later because I could not just. Okay, so you saw these in one of my hauls, my first shopping haul, I believe. So these are, were not, are not as old as some of the other ones. These are my citizens, citizens of humanity, Gia Rollins. These are again, 100% cotton and they have more than five buttons because they are high waisted. There's one, two, three, four, oh. There's only five buttons. They looked like there was more. Weird, I guess that's how they're spaced out. Again, they have the five button fly. And I really like how there is, this is like a darker green denim. As you can see, like in the dye, it is pretty green compared to like other blue jeans. I really like these because it gives it like a really nice vintage rough look to them. 
and it distresses really nicely as you can see. These again are cropped and you'll see them when I put them on. So I want to show you something back here. These are the premium vintage line that Citizens has. It is on the pricier side, which is again why I waited for these to go on sale. I had bought them full price because I really wanted them and then I went and returned them like two days later because I could not justify spending so much on them. So I was so happy when I was able to get these on sale. You can see that these ones, the Citizens of Humanity, Gia Rollins, the dye distressing and fading is done perfectly. My hips and thighs do not look this good. It's just the awesome, awesome job that they've done. And you can see these ones do have the buttons again. So I don't know if you've been able to see the difference between buttons and zippers, how this part of the pant look better like there's no or minimal ruching of the pocket fabric here because it's buttons so these ones are straight leg cropped again i don't need to do anything with them which is very very good for me because it usually takes me like a year to bring my pants to the tailors and then i never wear them so this is one of my favorite ones this winter i wore them out with like a blazer and heeled booties a lot. And because they're a little bit darker, it allows for that like dressed up look. Next step is a real goodie. These are my Topshop mom jeans. I went through a phase five years ago where I literally wore this one pair of mom jeans probably every day. They were the black like vintage wash ones. They were like I basically wore them even when I first started the blog. So kind of a little, like it's been a long time. These ones are a different pair because the black ones I gave sold because I could, they couldn't fit me anymore. Like I'm no longer that small. That's how long I've had them. These are like a blue vintage wash pair. You can see here it says Topshop mom jeans. I'm wearing 26, normally I wear 25, but Top Top change their sizes on me again, so I need to buy a size up. Again, no embroidery, nothing on the butt. These sit very high because they're mom jeans. They are more fitted on me than like if you bought vintage Levi's mom jeans. So I like to wear them, I can wear them out to dinner and still not feel sloppy. The Top Shop mom jeans, you can see here, you see the ruching? Can you, can you see that? Yeah, this is ruching because it is, again, a zipper fly. Very high-waisted, it is sitting right at my belly button. But I really still like these. I haven't worn them in a while, so I'm really glad that I chose to try these on. They are cropped, and because I've worn them so much, they are, they've thinned out a little bit and feel really, really good. They feel like PJs almost. I saved the best for last without fail anytime i wear these even if i'm not talking about them in a video someone will ask me where my jeans are from and i do not blame you i'm not gonna lie i have two pairs of these jeans because i cannot dream of a day where one of them breaks and i don't have them to wear anymore these are the levi's 501 skinnies they are probably the best jeans ever to be invented they are high rise but like still mid-rise so they don't choke you in the stomach when you sit down after a big meal if you know what i mean they are again 100 percent cotton and it's like a medium royal blue very very classic denim color it's got the levi patch the levi classic pocket stitching the other pair that i have i didn't cut them i just roll them because they are a size larger so i have one in a 25 and one in a 26. i wear the 26 ones when i want more of a boyfriend um, like vintage mom style look and then I wear these ones when I just want like a very fitted waist and something that doesn't bunch up on the bottom because I crop them right at the ankle so you can see when I got them they had two knee holes that got bigger because every time I put them on you know sometimes you like trip <laughs> and then you put your foot through the hole and it gets bigger so this one is a lot bigger than my other pair that I have and you can see that I cropped the hems and that's what it looks like when they're on. I will try to link them for you. Aritzia had them for a while. I think they went on sale and they sold out. 
So I don't know if I can find them again, but I will try to find these jeans for you again, if not something very similar. Levi's is hard that way because they only sometimes bring their designs into their store and like it's not like a seasonal thing. It's like every couple of weeks they'll bring something new and then take out the old stuff. So yeah, I'll go on a hunt for you. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed my long spiel about denim and that you get denim excited like I do. And if you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and tell me what you want to see next time, what kind of jeans you want to see, maybe a different type of clothing review, and I will see you next time.